two years ago testing pesticides on children in New York State until they died. That's New York Daily News. This is my film Endgame, the, the articles. I, I mean, you'd be crazy to not then always, and the New World Order says there's too many of us. They want to get rid of us. They want to put stuff in the water. The White House science are. And, and he's a protege of uh, you know others that were. I mean, I mean, this is just crazy. It's craziness. And I know people have trouble coming face to face with something this bad to be able to deal with it. But the facts are still the facts. Jim Mars. Yeah, that's exactly right. And uh, well, what it boils down to is that they have control over the five multinational corporations that control the mass media, the electronic media. Uh, and therefore, they control the masses. This is why you don't hear politicians refer to the republic anymore. We're not a republic. Uh, they simply refer to democracy. Democracy got to go and attack people around the world, bomb their villages, kill their children uh, to bring them democracy. Well, what is democracy? Democracy, by definition, is ruled by the majority, okay, which sounds great on paper, but the classic example is a lynch mob, and we don't want that. We want a democratic republic where we elect officials and we have checks and balances and we operate under the rule of law. But And that's why we have a constitution and a bill of rights. But it's been pretty much thrown out the window. Uh, I mean, uh, when Obama decides we're going to launch missiles and bomb uh, Libya, he didn't even bother to go to Congress to get a resolution like George W. Bush did before he attacked Iraq. I mean, we're just in... Jim, I got to preempt you for 10 minutes. I appreciate you. We're just, uh, Jesse Ventura has called in. He's, I guess, completed the press conference there in front of the federal uh, courthouse. And uh, again, if people miss the Associated Press and ABC News uh, and all the rest of it, uh, the judge, after waiting months and months and months to rule the case to go forward, said it was the wrong venue. So for me, that's not even so much thrown out as a punt. Uh, as a as a chicken uh, type uh, behavior of just basically passing the buck, and we're joined now by uh, former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura, best-selling author, and of course a uh, friend of this show, host of the popular television show uh, Conspiracy Theory. Uh, Governor, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Alex. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Not so much a pleasure to talk to the other media, but always a pleasure talking to you. Well, sir, a lot of people appreciate your courage and what you've done. Please tell us what you said at the uh, press conference and what the rat establishment media was behaving like. Well, they mainly just listened to what I had to say, and I basically told them that I was, I've now been stripped of my patriotism, that I have no more feelings for this government that runs this country today because, quite simply, they deny me my right in court. It seems that Going after veterans seems to be the trend right now. Every time veterans try to exercise their uh, their rights, constitutional rights, we seem to be getting tramped down. I mean, the one serviceman that was beaten up uh, exercising his right to protest, and now myself wanting to exercise my right and have a trial by jury, and the government won't allow it to happen. It's that simple. Now, now, Governor, I mean, obviously, that I was stunned. I mean, even though I was you know, knew it was possible when you were kind enough to uh, call me last night and keep me abreast of what happened, and you said that they'd thrown it out, and then I went and looked it up, and it, it showed up in the media. Uh, but, but, but the way this judge did it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because you've got the actual ruling, not just what the news is saying, said, well, this was the wrong venue. Uh, so, I mean, well, what, what they claim, Alex, is they have no jurisdiction. Well, if the federal court doesn't have jurisdiction over a constitutional question, who the hell does? Okay, because the way I read it was they were saying that it needed to be to, to be another circuit court. But 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 you're saying your lawyer's saying in the ruling, no, they're just saying the the feds don't have jurisdiction over the TSA. Well, what they're saying is that I have to go to the court of appeals. In other words, I'm guilty, and I have to go to the court of appeals to be proved innocent. I can't have a jury trial. It has to be, a, a, they're stating it has to go to the Court of Appeals, which are three federally paid judges who will make the decision, and, and they say it's because of secrecy reasons, so clearly they won't allow an open trial to happen concerning the Fourth Amendment of illegal search and seizure of our Constitution. Governor Jesse Ventura, two days ago when you were on with us, uh, you you made the central point 
that it's martial law when you go to the airport and now they're on the highways. And I and look, look at this ruling. They're saying national security, it's secret. We can't tell you. You're a governor. You're a Navy veteran, you know, honorably discharged, highly decorated, all of this, well known. You have to be groped by somebody. And when I was going through the TSA in Las Vegas, when I was out there with you a few weeks ago, uh, when I was flying back to Austin, I said, how do I know you're not a terrorist? How, how do I know you're not guilty until proven innocent if I'm guilty? And the guy said, I can be trusted. The government's checked me out. I, I mean, it's this idea that we're all criminals. We're all prisoners. Can you elaborate on your statement of, uh, of, of what this country's now become and uh, your statement about martial law? Well, clearly, Alex, is that, uh, you know, we're, we're all guilty now until we prove we're innocent. And the problem is... We can't even prove we're innocent in front of a jury. You know, we, I always thought we were guaranteed the right of a jury trial in this country, the, a trial of your peers, of your citizens. Clearly, the government doesn't want this going in front of citizens because obviously they'd lose. And if they lost, it would open up Pandora's box. And the other thing they don't want, the other question they don't want out there is the question that, why is it the government's job to provide security for the airlines when the airlines are a private sector business? Well, what about, the, you, you were, were a governor, you know more about the Tenth Amendment than I do. Since when do the feds, I mean, I can send you the, the PSAs. They're now airing TV ads showing TSA at Buccaneers games and at shopping malls searching people. And, and governor, they're now rolling out on the streets. Absolutely they are. When you drive around the country now... Our border agents are no longer at the border. They're out in the deserts. They're out on our interstate highways. I predict, Alex, that within the decade, you will have to show ID to travel state to state in this country because the Constitution is no more and the Bill of Rights are no more. That was proven to me today when I wasn't allowed to go to court on them. Governor, you know, you've always told me that, uh, you know, you stay focused, you don't give up. I mean, I, I I think the answer is, and obviously you'd run to win, but run for president to try to, you know, say, restore the Bill of Rights, restore the Constitution, legalize freedom, legalize America. I mean, you would get a lot of attention and could really put the heat on these people. Uh, and, and I understand, you know, there's a lot of other countries, but you love this nation. It's not America that went wrong. It's it's this corrupt system. Uh, I mean, are you, I mean, obviously you're percolating right now, you're thinking, but uh, uh, what's racing through your mind? I mean, what's next? Well, I talked about it at the press conference today that I guess the only recourse I could have would be to win the presidency. And then could I get my day in court as the president? <laughs> you know, that would be my next question. As president of the United States, could I go to court over my Fourth Amendment rights? I don't know, Alex. I mean, I can't run for president because I don't have ballot access in all 50 states, and that would require a great deal of money, a great deal of time, and the system is set up so that you're not, you can't achieve that. That way the Democrats and Republicans, the two-party dictatorship, they hold the stranglehold on all our elections because an independent like me cannot get ballot access in all 50 states. Well, Governor, you've always been a winner. And you, you know, you won as a trailblazer in Minnesota, uh, you know, out of nowhere as governor. And the people are more angry and more awake than they, they've ever been. You got one group of people that are more sheeple than ever, but a lot of folks are really waking up. Ron Paul is saying, hey, I might run as third party. Uh, the libertarians are saying, come on over. If Paul doesn't take it, I, they're the ones that have ballot access. I think it's time for them to right now approach you and say, you know, because you've got the name, you've got the knowledge, you've got the track record. Uh, and, uh, and, and again, I understand the instinct because I, I have it myself to just get out of here. And, and I, I won't blame you if you do that. Uh, because, you know, there's, you're a Navy guy. There's such a thing as abandoning ship. But you've been a captain. You've been a governor. And I think we need you to, you know, try to save the republic. I mean, you've already done so much. I hate to say do more, more, more. But Well, let me put it to you this way, Alex. The ball's in the libertarian court now. They have to approach me or they have to approach Congressman Paul, whoever they want to approach to be their presidential candidate. I, I'm not going to approach them. They will have to approach me. What is your mental, st I mean, when you got the call from your lawyer and heard about the ruling, uh, what was the first thing went through your mind? And and uh, please give us uh, any other points that you made at the press conference, sir. 
Well, what went through my mind, it was, it was very disheartening. It was like uh, having your guts pulled out of you. Uh, they gutted me as far as my patriotism goes. I have no patriotism whatsoever to this government today. I, you know, as my T-shirts say, I love my country, not my government. And I think that speaks volumes the way I feel right now, Alex. I have no love for the government of the United States of America today. How's, your, how's Terry taking it, your wife? Uh, like always, she's a battler. She'll do, she stands by me no matter what I do. I couldn't ask for a better person that way. And uh, she'll grit her teeth and get through it, I hope. Well, we were hoping for, for sanity in government, but it just, you know, we tried in Texas. It's not, it's, it's not going to happen, Alex. When a citizen can't go to court to, to fight for the Bill of Rights, his rights, his basic Bill of Rights in this country, when they won't allow you to go to court over that, well, that tells you. I will now refer to this country no longer as the United States of America. I will refer to it as the fascist states of America. Because that's what I believe we are, Alex. We are fascists now. Well, there's no doubt. In fact, there's a quote in the Associated Press where you said, uh, this is not the country I grew up in. America is now a fascist nation. Yeah, and I, I quoted Kevin Costner today at the press conference. I said, this is not the country I was born in, and it's certainly not going to be the country I die in. Well, look, the country's been hijacked. And, 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 and yes, the people... we got to take it back. Well, I know you're a busy man. Uh, just uh, yeah, as soon as you leave, I'll have 50 questions that pop in my head. This is all st stunning. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Alex, I got to take off, so we got to end it now. But I'll try to get back to you if you'll have me on next week. We'll talk about it more in depth next week. Absolutely, uh, and uh, perhaps we need to talk later when you get home or next week off air about strategy. I know Ty called me last night. He was getting on a plane. Uh, to come be with you there, and, and we were talking strategy, and I was going to send him some information. I, I think one way to go after him, and then I'll let you go because I know you're busy, is the fact that statistically they're in such criminals. Only criminals or crazy people would want to be groping people all day, and they're constantly caught stealing money, pedophiles. Uh, I think the health issue of the scanners is a way to go after them. Uh, but uh, is there anywhere we can read the ruling? No, because the rulings are secret. My court case said that. You cannot know what's legal for the TSA to do or not. It's considered, uh, it's considered national security, so there's no way to know if you're being abused or not. All right, uh, I'll let you go in 60 because I know you got to go, but, it, but this is big yep. news. This is not in the news. Uh, I've read literally 50, I've scanned 50-something articles up there of 100 and something that are on Google with Jesse Ventura's name in it today, and... It doesn't ever say that. That Your lawyer told you that he can't even see the ruling. Uh, I mean, give us the specifics, because that's big news. This is like 1984, or Kafka, where you can't find, or the Soviet Union, you can't find out what you've been charged with. Or, or, exactly. You have no way, uh, and even the judge said it in her ruling, that it's secret and we have no way of knowing whether the governor was abused or not, because, again, you, you don't know the rules and they can change them any time.